Hi, my name is Deva Brutarai and here I want to share with you how to become a confident and fluent English speaker. I'm not going to deliver any motivational speech or grammar lesson. I am just going to explain some practical problems and how to solve them. So listen carefully. I think it will be helpful for you. Thank you. First problem. Some people can understand when someone else is speaking or can write in good English, but they can't speak. Whenever they start speaking, they feel their head is totally empty. They find no word to speak. So how can you solve this problem? It is not about your knowledge. It is about connecting your brain cells where actually all the knowledge is stored with your lips. So just start using word after word in the beginning. Don't think about relevance. Just try to speak English. Even you cannot create a simple sentence. You can use as many words as possible in a sentence when you are speaking in your mother tongue, in Hindi or anything else. So by this way, you are connecting your brain nervous system with your lips and if you practice in this way without worrying about relevance and what others will think of you if you practice with yourself for a couple of weeks you will find that the words are actually flooding into your head and you are just comfortable with the words and you will start creating meaningful sentences very rapidly instantly and in real time. So just start speaking. Don't think about the consequences with your friend, with your family members, or if you don't find anyone and get confidence, then try to speak with yourself whenever you are alone. Just convert your ideas in your brain that if you were to reply it in English, then what would you say? So practice it with yourself. You can practice in front of mirror as well. So gradually you will become very much natural speaker. Problem number two. You are not confident about the sentence structures. You think you might be missing, you might be saying something grammatically wrong. So don't worry, just start speaking. Don't think that all the person, all the people know every rule perfectly. So. It's not our native language. We can commit some mistakes. We may make some mistakes. It's very common. People understand this. But if you don't start, then you won't be able to get or achieve your goals. So make mistakes. Find out your own mistakes and try to correct them. But another simple way is to become confident is to Take any one or two rules in your mind that I am going to use simple present or simple past or simple future and won't use anything else. So just use these rules or even you can pick out one rule and use this simple rule and can create thousands of sentences. So if you are using one rule perfectly, consciously, then it will boost up your confidence and gradually you will be able to add more and more grammatical rules and varieties in your speech. So day by day you will get confidence, but don't stop speaking. Problem number three. Sometimes we can communicate, we can speak, but we feel that we are stuck. We are not improving. We are not a good speaker like him or her. So how to feel? the improvement in yourself. Sometimes you may have noticed when you listen someone or when you read, you find that, oh, I know all these words, but you never use them in your conversation. So pick out one or two word or phrases and try to use it again and again in relevant ways. So if you keep adding words or phrases in your everyday speech, it will help you to become confident 
and it will encourage you to be more pleasant when you are speaking so in this way you can improve and when you get some new word just try to know the meaning where the word is actually used and try to use it again and again and it is better to include phrases rather than words thank you and how to become a good orator a excellent orator sometimes we speak correct english relevant with relevant words but we are not at par with some guide why it happens actually it's not enough to speak correct english with uh, versatile way with different words we have to know in certain situations how the native speakers choose the words to mean something specially so it's a language it's not science we cannot always make 2 plus 2 four so we have to use this long language as the native speakers do so you must listen some news channel or films and try to learn the way they speak actually they use the words in particular situations and inculcate those things in your speech and i want to mention one more point there is formal and informal way of speaking sometimes when we watch films they speak informally okay so like our deshi or our people speak in rural areas but those language actually is not spoken when we speak officially in news channel or something like that so if you are not dealing with any foreigners or any native speakers it is better to follow news channel or official programs even you can listen some native speakers explaining some grammatical rules because and the informal way of speaking is very different from actually what is accepted universally and if you are speaking with neutral accent so that is also good because it is accepted widely worldwide so if your purpose is to deal with people in your native country so you need not to very much worry about the accent you need not to speak like the native speakers do because english is no longer the language of europeans it is a universal language and most of the words actually originated outside britain or england so is everyone's language you can speak in your own way with neutral accent so that is also acceptable so in the beginning you need not to worry about accent very much if you are dealing with people in your own country thank you and i want to suggest the beginners please listen news channel first not the movies because in news channel whether it is in your own country or a native speaker speaking they speak officially and grammatically correct sentences and they emphasize on each and every word so it helps you in the very beginning and when you listen try to avoid watching films with subtitles because if you watch films with subtitles it may be helpful in the beginning but your ears will not be too much prepared you won't be able to focus on the speech so try to learn directly one thing i want to mention that sometimes people say you need not to learn grammar just listen and speak actually it means that you need not to go through the grammatical books you can learn the grammars by listening by directly from the speaker so grammar is essential whether you adopt it just by listening or by reading so you can improve a bit every day by reading or listening so it's important grammar is the skeletal of the language you cannot just escape it if you like this video so please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and please let me know what you think about this video in the comment box thank you